How many documented deaths does this place have that you know of? So I, I know that there's been thousands of deaths here. Yeah. I know we have over, uh, we have three graveyards on the farm, and I think it's just over 2,100 are in there right now. Wow. wow. And those are ones that the families basically uh, like didn't whatever. claim, didn't pick up. Oh, oh it's, it's terrible. This was actually like death row, a prison, and an insane asylum, and the executioner's chair all in one. This is the hall where um, Jane Harvey lived. Mm -hmm. And Jane Harvey was a patient here in the 1890s. The only reason that we know to actually look for Jane is because people have heard the name Jane. She said she harmed herself. So about four years ago, I was able to get these historic books, which record all the, the deaths, basically, and the people being admitted. And I find a Jane Harvey that she had uh, killed herself. Where, where was her room, do you know? And we believe it's one of these right here. We know there was a woman here who committed suicide. The owner needs to know the room. We believe it's one of these right here. We're on the right floor. So this is where she did it, at least the floor. Yeah, we're on the right floor. I just keep seeing off green or off blue, like a pale room. Inviting someone to look into the room. I keep wanting to go that way. OK, there is a room there. OK. This one feels right. This is the woman, the woman who, who did we did something. And you see the room being uh... somewhere in between blue or green. It's really quite ugly paint. She just wanted to tell me her name. She <laughs> her name. It is pretty impressive, especially for somebody that can't, I mean, she can't see anything. So for her to pick up on a wall color, obviously she's connecting to somebody. So we're going to take her to the third floor, to uh, one of the rooms there that had a pretty significant event, and we're gonna see what she can pick up there. There's a presence up here that feels timid at first. We had two violent patients in here uh, with a person who was mentally impaired. Do you want to talk with me? Are you, are you a boy or are you just wearing that shape? What are you? I'm not sure what's going on with this one. You see intelligent, that's an intelligent spirit active. I, I think so. Timid though, not chatty, almost mute, like could be violent. I don't know if he's, like, can't use his legs or if he just likes crawling around on the floor. I'm going to move a little bit this way to see. There's a weird pressure from... So it's like a sense of something hanging They tied a, a sheet around his neck, threw it up around a pipe, and would basically raise him up in the air until he would pass out, and then would let him back down, raise him back up again until he passed out. It's just something hanging. And he goes all the way down to the floor. Took a wild stab at him, say it's a body shape. There's, there's an intelligence haunting here. Like, this one seems nonverbal. And I just keep seeing him on the floor, like looking up, like he's, he's from a prone position. So there was a brutal murder in here. Okay. And the victim was a, uh, a man who was uh, allegedly, you know, we heard rumors that he was actually a mute. And two men, uh, murdered him in here, 
by, um, they would kind of string him up and like lynch him and then lower him down. And, and then they ended up taking the bed and putting the bedpost on his head and then jumping on it until it crushed his skull. Well, well, it's safe to say that's still very much here. Yeah. yeah. And he's still an intelligent spirit then here. He's still here. Just so you know, this was in the 80s, so it was not that long ago. Here's the other thing too, we describe him as being very childlike. So the crawling, the hiding, all that stuff. Yep. He was a very nice guy, but occasionally would have these really violent outbursts. Yep, okay. No, he's definitely still here. A question that we have is recently one of his murderers has passed away. And since that passing, the owner wants to know if any of the murderers are here. No, but they came by once, and he's not over it. It's almost like he keeps going through it, like it triggered something. Sort of this replay of what had happened to him, but he's still here, partly engaged in that replay. Is there anything that he likes? that we could maybe bring up here that, did he like to color, did he like to draw? I, I'd try like rolling a ball to him. Okay. He seems pretty simple with, with his tastes. Do you think he would respond to his name? Yeah, he might. Well, we should uh, continue, yeah. continue on. I almost feel like we're being observed. I want to know who you are. I want to know what you are. I want to see if we can get some answers. Yeah. I heard like voices. Is that what you heard? Let's try an ITC session. Oh no. No, I think it died. There it goes, it, it just died. Your device is corrupt. It can't be trusted and may not work properly. What? What the f? What's happening? 